Welcome to the WCTC Library. In this video, we'll go over how to find company information for research and job searches. You can find a lot of good company information on the company website, such as the services or products they may have, but you can also use the library databases to find additional information. And once you're on the library website, which you can get to through the link on the portal, or there's usually a link on your Canvas page, or you can always Google WCTC Library and you'll get on the library page, and then you're going to click on the A to Z databases. And this is a list of all the databases we have access to in alphabetical order. The first database we're going to look at is called Reference Solutions. So we're going to click on R and then Reference Solutions. And if you're off campus, you'll have to log in with your username and password. But we want to find information about US businesses, so we're going to click on Search. And then we're going to type in the name of the business. So we're going to look at Engineering Specialists. And once we type in the name, we're going to click on View Results. And then we'll get a list of all the different matches. And so we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to look for one by location. So if we know that this place is located in Wisconsin, we're going to pick this one right here. That's probably the best match. And then we're going to click on the title and then we'll get some information about the company. If you scroll down here, you get the industries that they're in and a little brief business profile. There's also right here a management directory, so it tells you some of the people that work there. So if you need to find the president or the CEO, you can usually find that information here. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can find some information about their expenditures. So how much they're spending on different business areas and also their sales volume and how large the company is too, based on the number of employees. So that is reference solutions. So now we're gonna look at another database. And the next one we're going to look at is called Business Insights. So we'll click on B and click on Business Insights, and then we can type in our company name. So we're going to look up Marcus Hotels and Resorts. So we'll put that in, and then we can see the company comes up right here. And not all companies are in here, but many are. And then you can click on that, and it's got a little bit of information at the top. But here we can click on the leadership under company details, and we can see some of the people that work there in the higher up positions. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see the industry they're in. And then there's also related articles. So right here, we've got a bunch of articles that are kind of what's happening currently with the company and that what mentions them. So you can see this one's from May of this year, so it's very recent. And so you can find out what is happening with them in the news right now. And some companies have more detailed entries than others. So if we want to look at Southwest Airlines, we can then look at their company profile and we just type in the name and then pick it from the drop down and we can look at the company history. We've got a company overview right here and we've also got that leadership. So if you click on the company history, you can see it's got a bunch of different information about what's currently and what has happened in the past at the company. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can get some more information about their financials and what articles are mentioning them right now. So that can be a good place to get some information about what's currently happening and if they're in the news at all. Another database to look at is called Business Source Complete. And so if we're back on that B page, we can then click on Business Source Complete. And Business Source Complete can be a good database to find some news articles or other articles that might mention your company. So if I'm looking up stuff on maybe Milwaukee Tools, I can put in their name. And then I'm going to get a bunch of articles and newspaper articles and periodicals that can work. But I may want things that are more recent. So right here on this area, you can change the date. So maybe I just want stuff in the last two years so I can enter in 2022. And if I wanted things that I can just read right now, I can click on that limit to full text and that will get me articles that I can read right now about what's happening with Milwaukee Tool. So right here, I can see they did some kind of Mother's Day campaign. So maybe I want to learn more about that. So then I can click on that title. And then I've got the short little article that's attached saying what they've done recently. And if you do find an article that you like, you can always save that article. This link at the top will not save, but you can save it by either clicking on email and then emailing it to yourself, or you can click on permalink and that will get you a link that goes right back to this page. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we have many ways to contact us on the library website.